Welcome back to Gray is Gorgeous. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today we're just going to be doing some more makeup and I am applying my brows. Um, you've seen me do this like a kajillion times, so I'm going to click off and do this off camera. I am using the Yoa Brow Pencil and I will be right back. Okay, if my brows are crooked, ignore that. <laughs> I do the best I can. Every time I put on my brows, it's a different day. Sometimes I get more creative, sometimes I'm better, sometimes I nail it, sometimes I don't. <laughs> anyway, that was the Joa Brow Pencil in um, Cool Taupe. Um, still like the Cool Blonde better for my um, skin tone, but um, I do like both of those colors. Both work for my skin tone and my natural hair color. The blonde actually looks better. But if you're one of my Silver Sisters out there who actually has dark brown to black eyebrows, um, you'll want to go with something with a medium or a dark brown pencil. You The taupe won't, won't work for you. Um, because you want to try to match the color of your eyebrows. You're not trying to match your hair per se, but you're matching the color of your eyebrows as best you can. All right. Let's get started. What are we doing today? You know what? Frankly, honestly, <laughs> uh, I didn't need to state that twice, but I don't know. <laughs> um, let's play with some new stuff. Um, do, 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 do. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm feeling a bit rosy. So we're going to go with the e.l.f. Bite Size, um, let's see, Rose Water Palette, this one. So, 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 so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Looks great um, with the whole gray theme and everything. So wonderful, wonderful palettes. I'm loving these Bite Size e.l.f. palettes so, so much. All right. So let's go in and prime time. I don't use primer. As you know, if you follow me on my channel, I use um, concealer as my primer. So I'm finishing up the Yoa in ivory and I'm starting to scrape the, I don't know if you can see that, scraping the inside a bit. I've been trying to use a lot less of this product um, because I've I, okay, you know, I don't know how I do it, but I watch videos and then I see other people putting on a lot less than, and then I see some people putting on a lot more and more or less, more or less, I don't know. I think what I'm trying to compensate by putting on a lot is the moisture. So I should correct that with moisturizer rather than with concealer. Um, but this is just the way I do it. So put on the amount that you feel works best for you. And then you can go ahead and use a little sponge. This is one of those 360 sponges or your finger or a brush just to kind of blend it in a little bit. If you do use a sponge, you will um, lose half the product to the absorption of the sponge. And you can dampen your sponge if you like here or not. I'm just using mine dry because I'm kind of making it act like my finger without having to use my finger. So I'm just going to press that in. And if you have dark circles, I would um, consider, like if you have a lot of darkness under your eyes, I would consider going with a color corrector um, you might want to go with a mint green or a peach. Experiment with that. See which one works best for you. And put that underneath this concealer. A lot of times when I do videos, I'm doing them for my skin type, for my skin tone. The products are all, you know, designed, or not designed, but they're chosen for my complexion and stuff. And I realize not everybody else who watches my video is going to have my skin tone. Some of you have beautiful dark skin. Um, some of you have medium skin. Some of you um, 
maybe would like a little bit more color correcting and things like that for underneath your eyes and stuff. So you have to find what works for you. A lot of times I think watching videos from people who, who have the same complexion and skin tone and stuff as you works well because then you can see what they're using and what's successful for them. And you might want to go with a slightly darker concealer. Again, concealer should be chosen based on your skin tone. If you're light, fair complected like myself, you're going to be going with a very fair, light colored um, con concealer versus one that's slightly darker. Although I have seen people with darker skin tones use, use darker, uh, I mean, excuse me, lighter concealers. You'll have to play with it and see what you what you like best. I, I think it looks good if it's just slightly lighter under the eyes. Um, it just gives like a brightening effect. All right, so the next thing is we're gonna get a brush and we're gonna go into this beautiful, beautiful rose water palette. And this is the transition shade, which is also quite light. You might want to use a little bit of a darker one if this one doesn't work for you. Um, it, again, if, you're, if your tone is darker, I'm going to go with a placement brush method applying this. And that's one of these type of brushes with kind of the flat head. Just going to go into the product that, press it, give it a good tap. And I'm going to place this. This is a very light color. This is a beautiful color. So if you're, uh, if you like Charlotte Tilbury, okay, I'm sure you've heard of her. Um, she makes beautiful cosmetics. This, um, this small pa mini palette screams Charlotte Tilbury all over the place. So if you're looking for something that's a substitute, um, this one is really good. It's got those nice, light, beautiful, beautiful tones in it that are very um, complementary to skin and they're just really beautiful. But you don't have to spend a lot. So if you find that you're pinching pennies these days um, and you then just go with this beautiful $3 palette. It's $3 at Walmart. It might be a little bit higher other places. So that's the color there. It's really, really pretty. All right, so that's going to be our base, and that kind of going up on the brow bone in this area is going to be our background. And then we're going to come in with this dark color here on the end. This is kind of like a really dark, plummy color. Really pretty, too. And I'm going to use the same placement brush because I really want to just place this color in certain areas. I don't want it to go all over um, the place, so I'm just going to dab in there. And I'm gonna not go to the outer edge. I'm, I'm gonna start my placement here, not here, because it's gonna go into my droop, what I like to call the droop zone. Um, when, you, when you're applying it, if you put it too far to the edge, it'll make your eye appear like it's drooping. So I, when you look up after you're done with your application, I wanna lift my eye up, I don't wanna let it go into droop spell. No droopy, no droopy. All right. So this will give the appearance like I had an eye lift when I didn't. And I'm just going to pat place. I'm pat placing this right here. And you can bring it into the crease if you'd like. Bring it slightly into the crease there and darken that area for the hooded lid fix. 
but start at the outer edge first and place most of your product there. That way when you start to move in here towards the center, um, it's less and less product on your brush. And so you won't have to do a lot of correction and trying to take off color that if you put down too much. So you want to always start from the outer edge and work your way inward. Also wiping your brush is really helpful. I'm getting a little bit of fallout here, just FYI. Wiping your brush on um, something is helpful. Should have a little towel here because I'm trying, I've got my last box of Kleenex. If you watch, watch me on my last video, I am switching over to 100% recycled paper products. Um, And so I've got my last thing of Kleenex here, but I was thinking about getting a handkerchief for my cosmetic table or getting 100% recycled um, Kleenex to use. A handkerchief I could just wash. Or, or actually I could probably even use a micro that's what I'll do. Never mind. I don't need a handkerchief. I'm going to use a micro fiber um, cloth. So hopefully I can find them on the website. So I'm just putting a little bit of this shimmer color here on the end, right here. And then I'm going to take this beautiful color. I'm going to go back to my flat head. And if you want to, you can use a fluffy brush like this to, to blend it all in if you feel that that's needed. And I'm just going to spray my brush with a little bit of water. That tip I got off from another YouTuber might just helps and then I'm going to place that pink right there on the lid this is kind of like a foil color it's in with a little thicker brush here anything that you want to recede you use the dark color on anything that you want to bring forward you use the light color on and I'm going to take that color that I put up there and I'm going to bring it up higher to the bone that darker purple I'm just spreading it, I'm not adding any more. Just kind of spreading it out a little bit. Kind of, it does get kind of condensed with the placement brush, I do have to say. Sometimes you have to give it a good sweep with a nice fluffy brush in order to get it to blend a little better. I think I'm going to use that, go ahead and use that plum. And this does have some sparkle in it a little bit, if you can see that. And I'm going to take a liner brush. This is the e.l.f. liner brush. Put some stuff on the bottom of that. This is a flat head. I love this thing. <laughs> I wouldn't use this as a placement brush because the head is too squared off. But I love this for liner. You know, sometimes they have uh, the brushes and they have like an angle on there. I like this one better. I'm just placing that on the upper upper just here I'm going halfway in you could definitely do that especially if you have a problem with liners and their smudge or smear throughout the day see how that just kind of gives you a more of a dramatic look also one product I want to mention is L'Oreal's infallible liner one of the worst liners I have ever purchased and talk about infallible I it wasn't it smeared so bad it was so it's pro it might be good for a waterline liner because it's softer this pencil is middle of the road it's not too hard not too soft which is how I prefer all my pencils to be but see how that just gives you a nice dark moody misty look I like that so Probably more appropriate for nighttime, but all right. So now we're going to go in with some foundation and look who's back, CoverGirl. 
I love this foundation. I love it, love it, love it. And I'm going to apply it with this sponge, which I got at the Dollar Tree. It's a sassy and chicer. I'm going to add a squirt of water to it. And I use class, I'm in classic ivory. Just one pump there. And bounce, baby, bounce. Now it does have a little bit of a smell. Just FYI. But it's not bad at all. Just letting you know. It's not as bad as the Milani. Oh my gosh. The Milani 2 and 1. <sighs> That one was downright toxic. I kid you not. Oh my God. Took my breath away. Oh, not good. This one has a little bit, but it disappears like right away. Like you smell it when you first take it up, put it on, and then it, it stops, you know. Like right now, it doesn't smell too bad. So I don't know if it's just coming out of the bottle like that. But in order to make these products stay all day, they have to put uh, things in them to make them last all day. I find this one goes on best with a sponge. This sponge is actually, this is a sassy, sassy chic sponge and it actually works really good. I love the flat bottom. It's got the cone tip for if you wanna but for bouncing foundation on, it's good. And um, I think for mature skin, it's one of, one of the best uh, drugstore foundations. And I'm not gonna powder today. We're not powdering today. Um, I find that powder tends to settle in to the fine lines after I put on the foundation. So we're just gonna do that because it just it leaves my skin a bit more moisturized. Then I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Bite Size um, Blush in Pomegranate. And this is also $3. And I love this one. Look at this beautiful color. Is that not pretty? It I can't. It's kind of pink. It's more pink than anything. Um, but it comes with this beautiful highlighter on this side. And you know what I like to do? Now I know that's a bit of a gold highlighter, but it's not like in your face gold. It's kind of a bronzy gold. What I love to do with this is I like to run my brush across both because I like the luminosity look. You don't have to do this, but this is what I like to do with this blush. You could separate it, put the blush on and put the highlighter on on top of it, but I like to just run my brush this way. Look at that. It gives like a luminous. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. $3. So pretty. Okay, so if you are looking, if you like Charlotte Tilbury, um, her Pillow Talk blushes and all of that, and you like her, her, um, her, her, oh boy, I'm just doing good right there. <laughs> and you, you like her shadows and stuff and you like her foundation. I don't, I'm not declaring these dupes, but I'm saying these are a great inexpensive substitutes for that look if you're looking for that and so is this they have another beautiful color in this um, blush that's a slightly lighter pink that is also really good and I have to say this one is blowing me out of the water this is like the Milani um, if you're if you like the Milani baked blushes because they have a little bit of a luminosity you will love this if you like I said rush your, run your brush across both of them and just go like that and then that way you don't have your highlighter being like out loud and proud it's just blended in and it's just so beautiful and on mature skin I just think it's the bomb <laughs> all right so that is great so no need to buy charlotte tilbury you can get away with a drugstore makeup now i'm going to bronze too 
so we're just going to bronze up a little bit. Now this is the CoverGirl bronzer. They no longer sell this one in 102, but they do have one, and I believe it's a, it's a little bit darker than this one. This is great for my fair skin silver sisters out there. Um, you can go with the one they have now. Let me know what you think. If you are looking for a drug stoop, drugstore substitute for bronzer you might want to try the elf infused their new infused bronzer line you might find a very light colored one um their fair skin women may have a problem with some bronzers because they may be too dark and so it's hard sometimes to find one that's not this happens to be one of those but it's discontinued now so I, the one, the drugstore, um, one that looked most like this was the L'Oreal Lumi bronzer in the lightest shade. And Milani in the lightest shade. Beautiful. Oh man, loving this look. Gonna go in with the Bambi, L'Oreal Bambi in black brown. I know this video might be a little bit longer than I intended because I'm talking a lot. I apologize. <laughs> um, but thanks for watching. All right, so that's the look today. Um,